हेलो एंड वेलकम डियर फ्रेंड्स एट लिट ई सिटी द यूट्यूब चैनल दैट ट्राइज टू ब्रिंग बेस्ट मटेरियल फॉर हेल्प यू टू हेल्प यू इन योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर एग्जाम्स लाइक एन टी ई नेट इंग्लिश डियर फ्रेंड्स इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डील विद सम इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन अबाउट इंडियन लिटरेचर द क्विक फायर सेशन द थर्टी क्वेश्चन दैट विल टेस्ट यूर नॉलेज एंड प्रिपरेशन फॉर दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक सो हेयर इज अवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे विच अमंग द फॉलोइंग पॉइट्री कलेक्शन इज द वन नॉट रिटर्न बाय इम्तियाज धारकर इम्तियाज धारकर इज रिलेटिवली एन इम्पॉर्टेंट नेम basically she is a diaspora writer and the options are postcards from god second is the terrorist at my table third one is parda and the last option is look we have coming to tower out of these four collections the one which is not by imtiaz dharkar is look we have coming to dawar it is written by actually daljit nagra both daljit and imtiaz they are diasporic writers basically they belong to india by birth and uh, imtiaz actually is pakistani and she spends her time equally between lahore and mumbai so in true sense she is a cosmopolitan writer a poet rascal clown was born now this is the opening line of one of the most famous poem by modern indo anglian poet nisim isical and isical what is the name of this particular poem is it background casually then poet lover bird watcher third one is philosophy and the last option is jewish wedding in bombay we all know that nisim belongs to the rather minority community the jewish community and in many of his poems he has expressed this particular angst all these are very popular poems this one is a we can say autobiographical poem it is background casually which begins with this line a poet rascal clown was born the writer of acclaimed works like the gypsy goddess and a portrait of the writer as a young wife is the option the options are meena kandasami b bama then omila pawar and the last one is baby kamle now all these writers as uh, you must know they all are dalit writers and among them the works the gypsy goddess and a portrait of the writer as a young wife is by meena kandasmi she is an emergent voice a very popular voice in dalit writings and these two are her novels she has also written collections of poetry the mark of vishnu is one of the most popular stories by khushwant singh the mark in the story actually refers to first option is v shaped tilak on the protagonist gangaram's forehead the cobra's fangs the the house of gangaram and working of fate in gangaram's life now the mark of vishnu is also title of the first collection of stories compiled by krishnan singh and in this particular story the correct answer the mark of vishnu refers to that particular tilak v shaped tilak on the protagonist gangaram's forehead in his essay is there an indian way of thinking ak ramanujan coins a term to describe the indian complicated sets of standards such as laws of money what is this particular term is it context relative then context free context sensitive or context associative now this particular essay once again ramanujan because born in a traditional indian family than uh, having education at west especially in america he has this double vision and he coins this term to use about typical indian sensibility and the term is context sensitive a very important question which novel presents the story of biju an undocumented immigrant in the us who is trying to make a new life 
uh, is it the poison wood bible then we have the inheritance of loss and the next option is lotus land and the last option is this earth of mankind dear friends all these novel are actually about immigrant uh, uh, dilemma their problems but the correct answer about this particular novel uh, the protagonist biju it is the inheritance of loss uh, you should know the name of other writers also the poison wood bible is written by barbara kings clover lotus land is a very popular novel by david jainer Kiran Desai daughter of Anita Desai won Man Booker Prize in 2006 for this novel The Inheritance of Loss and then we have Malaysian writers a writer of the famous novel The Fugitive This Earth of Mankind by Pramoedaya Ananta Toy which novel by Amitav Ghosh incorporates the story of disappearance of the sacred relic of the prophets here from its place in Hazrat Bal Amitav Ghosh is known for uh, incorporating rather intricate historical details and then make up of a story so this story follow this particular thread is it the shadow lines rivers of smoke sea of poppies or the circle of reason all are very popular highly acclaimed works by amitav ghosh this particular in which the hair of uh, uh, shri uh, hair of the prophet uh, is lost or is stolen rather it is uh, the shadow lines all day the body lay rotting in the sun it could not be moved on to the veranda floor in that april heat the reek of dead flesh was overpowering which anita desai's novel opens with these lines in custody cry the peacock fasting and feasting fire on the mountain dear friend this is the novel in which this oh, uh, let me give you the hint uh, and i think this will clear the answer it is the dead body of a pet dog with which this novel opens it is cry the peacock story of maya a woman trapped in a loveless marriage when trying to cope up with her psychological traumas who is the framing narrator of the play hayavadan by tugluk tugluk known for incorporating myths and reworking them according to the modern context hayavadan uh, he himself is the narrator the bhagavat a doll or the son of padmini who among these is the framing narrator generally um, this is one of the favorite device of tugluk while writing his dramas and plays that he presents an arcing narrator who gives us insight into the play and the correct answer is the bhagavat is the framing narrator of the play hayavadan the man eater of malgudi who is actually man eater or what does man eater refers to is it a tiger from mempe hills is it vasu a taxidermist is it the kumar kuma, the temple elephant who has developed a horrible temper or is it nataraj a printing press owner the man eater of malgudi is one of the most popular works by ak narayan and in this particular novel it is vasu a taxidermist who comes to live with nataraj the uh, printer and how he creates havoc in his life uh, he is a taxidermist and uh, he always Uh, keep making his experiment and in the end uh, when uh, natras decides to have a final talk with him he finds him dead in his bed ak ramanujan besides being a very uh, proclaimed poet is also an esteemed post colonial thinker which among these is not an essay featuring his thoughts on indian sensibilities is it is there an indian way of thinking is it where mirrors are windows towards an anthology of reflections is it speaking of shiva or 300 ramayans five examples and three thoughts on translation some very very acclaimed works on post colonial and indian sensitivity out of these uh, dear friends speaking of shiva is actually a poetry collection translated from classical ancient uh, tamil verses 
Kushwant Singh had a distinguished career as a journalist among these magazines of which he was not an editor. The Illustrated Weekly of India, New Delhi, National Herald or Punjab Kesari. He, he actually edited many magazine, magazines, wrote so many columns and it is Punjab Kesari for which he didn't serve as an editor. Amitav Ghosh first novel, The Circle of Reason, is divided into three sections. Which among these is not one among them? Is it Sattva or Reason, Rajas, Rajas or Passion, Tamas or Death or Manas, Life? Dear friend, it is out of these, uh, the last one, Manas, Life, is not one of the uh, sections of uh, the Circle of Reason. This novel is of uh, this novel by Anita Desai is the story about Matteo and Sophie, an Italian-German couple and their journey to India for a spiritual quest. Is it fasting feasting? Is it journey to Ithaca, Baumgartner's Bombay and the last option the zigzag way. Dear friend, it is journey to Ithaca which presents Matthew and Sophie. They want to know about the deep meanings of Indian philosophy and in this spiritual quest they visit but rather disappointed. Which among these is not a geographical local feature of Malgudi town. It has Sarayu River, Mempe Hill, Alman Street, Alman Street or Hanuman Hill. Out of these four, which is not a part of this fictional Malgudi town, dear friend, it is Hanuman Hill. Though there is a temple of Hanuman at a hill, but it is not called Hanuman Hill. The language I speak becomes mine. Its distortions, its queernesses, all mine, mine alone. These lines appear in a poem by Jayant Mahapatra, Eki Ramanujan, Kamala Das, or Keki and Daruwala. Dear friend, it is very famous poem by Kamala Das, and the name of the poem is also an introduction in which she talks about that how uh, she uses English in a quite a native manner. Apart from the classical Indian folklores from which text was Girish Karnad inspired to write Hayavadan? Was it transposed heads by Thomas Mann, German writer, forced by Goethe, again a German writer, met, uh, metamorphosis by Kafka, a Swiss writer, and then we have both A and C. He was inspired by these two works. Dear friend, it was actually Thomas Mann's transposed heads, though we have the same story in Indian folk tales also, Parkarnath was also inspired by Thomas Mann. In which of these plays, novels by Khushwan Singh, Bhagmati, the Hijra is the main character. Is it Train to Pakistan, Delhi, or then we have I Shall Not Hear the Nightingale and Burial at Sea. Dear friend, it is Delhi, the historical and very famous work by Khushwan Singh in which Bhagmati, the Hijra, he is the, he is the main character who travels, uh, whose travels are presented as a metaphor for Delhi. Which among these story threads is related with novel, the Calcutta Chromosome? Disappearance of Al Murugan, Malaria Research, the works of Fulboni and Lakhan stories. Dear friend, it is why the first and second, first, second, third, first and fourth. Actually, Calcutta Chromosome follows all of these threads, which among these works by Ark and Narayan is called a faction. A fact and fiction combined. Is it grandmother's tale? Then we have the English teacher. The next is my days and the last one is my dateless diary. Out of these, the English teacher, teacher is only one which is pure fiction. Otherwise, it is actually grandmother's tale which is combination of both fact and fiction in which Arkanaran also te tells about his childhood. Who is are uh, the editors of Another India, an anthology of contemporary Indian fiction and poetry? Naseem Izikai, A.K. Ramanujan, Minakshi Mukherjee. Is it only first, both first and second, 
or both first and third or only third dear friend it is by nisim izikai and minakshi mukherjee they have edited this very very important anthology another india and anthology of contemporary indian fiction and poetry the strider is the opening poem of ak ramanujan's first poem collection which is also entitled striders in this poem strider refers to what are insects a traveler the poet or a bird a very interesting question because you can only understand if you have read the poem dear friend it is actually water insects to which uh, allu uh, ramanujan alludes as striders my novel was really born when i realized how much i wanted to restore the past myself what i was actually doing was a mem novel of memory and about memory so that my india was just that my india a version here rashdi is speaking about which novel satanic verses midnight's children grimers or shalimar the clown dear friend as you must know about this particular lines it is about midnight's children and these lines are from uh, an essay the title of essay in imaginary homelands Buffalo Nationalism a critique of spiritual fascism is a controversial book of essays by this eminent dalit writer is it kancha elahi om prakash valmiki ajay navarya or daya pawar they all are very very prominent name in dalit writings but buffalo nationalism is actually work by kancha elahi Which novel by Indira Goswami the famous Assamese writer winner of Sahitya Akademi award also is written in Kamrup dialect tells the story of Giri Bala who is a brahmin widow the blue neck brudge the moth eaten hoda of a tusker pages stained with blood or the man from chinnamasta now indra goswami is a typical uh, always tries to raise feminist issues like first two works are about widows so i have you given uh, given the hint uh, this particular uh, novel uh, about uh, giribala is the moth eaten hoda of a tusker and uh, this, it is one of her most uh, popular and acclaimed works which among these poetry collections is not a recipient of sahitya akademi award winners when uh, actually not a winner is it relationship by jayant mahapatra letter day songs by nisim ezekiel strikers by ak ramanujan or serendip by dom morris dear friends Three out of these four books have uh, won Sahitya Akademi Award for poetry. It is Striders, which is not a winner among these. The Perishable Empire: Essays on Indian Writings in English is a collection of essays about the development of novel in India, both in English and regional languages. Who is the author? Minakshi Mukherjee, Salman Rushdie. Shashi Tharoor or Arundhati Roy dear friend it is none other than Meenakshi Mukherjee who has also written about twice born fiction it is also a very important work by Meenakshi Mukherjee many times it has been asked so you must read about this also which among the following poem poet pairs is not correctly matched is it irani restaurant bombay by arun kolatkar hawk by kk and daruwala lens end by adil jusawala or pushing a cart by manohar shetty all these are uh, new voices in indian poetry they have uh, they have become now established names now the pushing a cart it is not by manohar shetty belonging to uh, mumbai but rather Uh, the dalit writer dilip chitre he uh, the, he is also a dalit writer belonging from maharashtra which among these books is not authored by tabish khair an indian author who is a professor in denmark is it babu fictions alienation in contemporary indian english novels man of glass 
poems, the country without a post office, and the th the thing about thugs. Dear friend, it is the country without post office, which is written by another uh, we can say writer who uh, belongs to India but residing in Britain. He is Aga uh, residing in America. He is Aga Shahid Ali. Who is credited with establishing Adivasi Academy, People's Linguistic Survey of India, collection of essays entitled After Amnesia. After Amnesia is also a recipient of Sahitya Academy Award. He is a very active person at present. Is it G. N. Devi, Babu Rao Bagul, Namdev Dasal, or Jakinta Karkata? Out of these two persons, especially are concerned with Adivasi studies, and uh, it is G. N. Devi who is one of those writers who won Sahitya Academy Awards for collection of essays. He also established, established Dakshinayan, uh, which is an attempt to prevent the rise of radicalism related with religion. Okay, dear friends, that's all for today's session. A quick session of 30 questions. Checking your progress in the field of Indian literature, covering topics like drama, novel, poetry and essays. Keep watching, keep supporting and best of luck for the exam. Thank you friends.